So this is YouTuber Jacqueline Hill, and long story short, she got famous, she made her own line of makeup, and it, um, she's uh, and then uh, people started complaining about it, and now she's made a video basically making excuses. Uh, I was like, oh, well, this, this is going on because of this and this, but ultimately, she only needed to say one thing to basically summarize why all the people were having their having the problems with it lack of quality control now i'm not a big like makeup guy um and i'm I, and uh, i don't even like it when like women like put like tons of makeup on their face like you like where you can clearly tell they've got a layer of makeup like that thick on their face um i don't like that um, but what I do love is food and cooking. And something I have been watching uh, recently is uh, Gordon Ramsay's uh, um, Hell's Kitchen. Not Hell's Kitchen, sorry. I have seen a couple series of uh, seasons of that, but um, uh, Kitchen Nightmares, sorry. And it, uh, um, I think she could learn a lesson from Gordon Ramsay. Uh, when it, heck, even in Kitchen Nightmares as well, he's said this uh, uh, multiple times that um, the sous, well, uh, is it the sous chef or basically, actually, you know, basically all the food should be checked and tasted before it goes out to the customers. And it, uh, I think she need she should have took taken this men mentality. With her makeup now, I'm not. Get, I'm not asking her to just like individually like check each makeup, but every individual batch of makeup, just take one one thing out of it and have someone check it. Make sure there's nothing wrong with it at all. Um, and if there is something wrong, report it to whoever ASAP. Um, so like if I were to equivalent this to um cooking, um. So say in Hell, say Hell's Kitchen, um, some one of the chefs took uh, Gord, uh, gave Gordon Ramsay an undercooked bit of chicken. Instead of saving that bit of chicken to, um, you know, a customer and probably killing them. Well, no, I don't think it would kill them, but probably giving them like salmonella poisoning. Um, but there are other types of raw meat that would could kill somebody. Um, he would take it back to the person who was in charge of making the chicken. And it, uh, you know, have them remake the chicken and not send that order out. And that's what she should have done here. Um, but instead, she just makes excuse after excuse after excuse. And it, uh, really, all of these problems could have just been solved with just a little bit of quality control. Just like the bare minimum you would expect from. Uh, you know any product like um sure we can like all laugh and meme over the red ring of death but um at least microsoft uh, ceo didn't go on a rant on, on twitter about how people are uh, um lying about the red ring of death right and i think they were actually quite good with the red ring of death i think they actually like Repaired and replaced a lot of the 360s. That you have to give Microsoft that. Um, yeah, and again, actually, this is a, a very si similar story. The reason why the 360s had the Red Ring of Death in the first place is because Microsoft rushed the um, excuse me, rushed the 360s out and didn't apply any quality control whatsoever. Um, I'm sure I'm going to get uh, some comments about the switch bending, but let me just grab my switch here quickly. Um, let me tell you a quick story. I one time left this switch in my coat pocket, and it is a thick winter coat. coat um, and uh, I, I wore it on like the hottest day of the year one year. Everybody looked at me as if I had gone insane. Um, and I probably had at that point. And I accidentally left it on, and I took my coat off. So I put my coat to one side, and my switch was just in my coat pocket running and it wasn't just like on the outside coat pocket it was on the in it was in the interior coat pocket and I had just like laid my coat on the on the, the tail so it was almost completely insulated the only way it could have been any more insulated is for, if I had zipped the coat up in the first place uh, not in the first place but you know zipped the coat up and it, uh, 
Uh, I left it there for quite a while. I think maybe an hour or so. Do you see any bend or curve in there? And this is a day one Nintendo Switch. So, I don't know why people's Switches are bending, but mine's not bent, and the grate's perfectly fine, so I don't know what that's about, but um, I definitely don't think it's not due to the Switch getting too hot, because when I put my coat back on, it burnt me. Like, I put it on and it's like, oh, that's hot. And I took it out and I was like, oh, yeah, I switch on and I turned it off. And it wasn't until after that, after that happened, I heard about the switches bending and the people blaming it on, like, Nintendo's, um, lack of quality control. And I was like, no, nah, something's going on here. Like, there's even, like, been switches that you could clearly see have been purposely bent that it, and I, I, and even like um, people reporting on it. I remember Spawn Wave Media was reporting on it, and it was like uh, showing off some images. And he was like, "Yeah, but there are some fake ones. Like this one and this one have clearly been bent by um, the owner." But yeah, it's just like basic. Well, yeah, so it's just like basic uh, kind of you know you what you do in uh, when you're. Uh, Making some when you're making a product, you it's a basic thing to do is to test each back, batch of the product and make sure there's nothing wrong with it, especially if you're making food. Uh, but uh, you know, if if you don't want your brand being damaged, definitely do it. Like this goes for anybody in any like making any type of product. Product you check every batch if you're mass producing and if you're just like doing a one-off job quickly check it before you sell it like come on um but yeah i just wanted to, to talk about that because um i hear i saw i did see this on the philip de franco show and i was like should i make a video about this yeah let, let's wait to see how it unfolds well yeah i think um I think this is going to be the end of it, at least for now, isn't it? because I think she says she's going to go to a different manufacturer to make her makeup or lab or whatever. Um, so we're probably not going to hear any more about this for a while. Unless she replies to criticism, which, for her own sake, I hope she doesn't because there's not going to be much good that's going to come out of that. Anyway, see you guys. This was just a quick video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.